Hi guys, this is Mathias, and I'm coming at you here with some footage from the Battlefield 1 community test server, also called CTE. Everything in this video is being recorded from two different uh, days, and there was a different map available each day, so you'll see a little bit of both of them. Even though, to be honest, looking back at these uh, recordings, those two maps look very much the same, which is probably because we're not really used to them yet. Now here you see me playing Assault, I'm using the MP18 Trench, and here I'm trying to kill something that I believe is a tank, even though it's not. But for the most part in this video, I'm actually going to play the support class. You'll see one of the new weapons that I'm testing out, which at this point in time is actually quite a bit overpowered. I know quite a number of people have uh, mentioned it, and I don't expect this new LMG to uh, remain the way you will see it in this video. Here is a new uh, medic weapon that I picked up. Hopefully in the future I'll be able to cover a little bit more medic gameplay also. Uh, but for now, in this video we're going to focus mostly on the support class and actually there's going to be quite a bit of flying as well because one of these maps have two planes on each uh, on each team. There is... the full auto one? I don't know. No, it's... No, no, it's the other one. It's the other one. So anyway, here's the LMG I was talking about, and it did take a few minutes to get used to. Oh, I have the lance. Oh yeah, this is another new feature, the lance or the spear for the cavalry class. <laughs> Wow, and the flags is also dropped, it's so cool. Climb up everywhere. We are losing so yeah, I'm going to show you a little bit more cavalry gameplay as well, and you'll see the lands being used one or maybe a few more times. Yeah, it does have bipods. Yeah, this gun actually do take a little bit of getting used to, and I only tried it out for about an hour or so, because the next day when we came back here, the new weapons were no longer available. I'm not answering that, you're too young for that, yellow mass. That's for when you're an adult, Yala. That's for when you when you're all grown up. How old are you now, Yala? What the fuck? We've known each other so long. <laughs> I always consider you like 16 years old. And how long have I known you now? Like three years. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's easy to be rude to you when you can't answer me more than chatting. When you're in team speak, it's hard to be rude to you. It doesn't really work. Like a second automat. Yeah. So yeah, while playing all these new uh, Russian DLC maps, I've seen two different elite soldiers or elite classes, and it's this one, the Sentry, and also the Flame Trooper. Not sure if there are any more. I'm, I'm, sh or well, I'm pretty sure there are more. I just haven't seen them. <laughs> he got fucking wrecked. Can I get off? Well, yeah, I also want to let you know that, uh, as always, I am streaming starting 5 p.m. Central European time. And I do that basically every day, but from now on I'm also going to add a lot more CTE into my streams. So you'll get a chance to see this live if this is something you're interested in. You know, for as long as CTE is available, that is. I will, of course, mix it up with the vanilla gameplay. Now, personally, what I think about these maps is that I haven't really made up my mind about them. 
Um, they kind of remind me of one of the maps that uh, I played quite a bit in Bad Company 2. I can't really remember their name right now. But there are things about this map that I don't like and there are things about it that I do like. So yeah, a little bit of flying and keep in mind, uh, I'm sure you already understand it, but I didn't get my settings properly set up before playing here. This was a kind of a spontaneous decision uh, based on uh, the reactions from people watching my stream. So yeah, from now on in the video I'm going to add some flying footage and hopefully this is going to give you an even better idea of what the maps are going to look like in the upcoming Russian DLC. <laughs> I can sell. Wah! Это вражеский боец. Oh, oh shit. Stop shooting me for the love of God, I'm friendly. I don't have the kill feed on. Ah, oh, there we have something. We are winning. Where are the people? It, it's hard to figure out where people are. Oh, there is one. We have taken objective Charlie. Нам вражеский солдат. Ah. Осторожно. This time is close. <laughs> we have taken objective George. Oh, what? Return to the combat area. They, they, see how they take me down with just small arms fire. Cannot find any spot to do. It's hard to repair here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Got him. Oh, okay. Oh, that's the sentry. Can you spot him? Trying. Yeah. Yeah. Massey, why needs. you have massive F drip? Uh, oh, I don't know. It's uh, bad optimization, perhaps, on this map. On this. Uh, on CD. Oh! He's talking about the, the stream lag. Oh, the stream lag? Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. I, I don't think you have bad FPS in the game. So. No, it's. Oh, it's over 140 at the moment, yeah. Yeah, they must have changed the damage from the ground. 
Yeah. Holy there's crap. yeah, there's this is just ridiculous. Holy shit. They just shoot you down with the small arms fire. Like it's nothing. So yeah, the video will continue now with uh, some infantry gameplay. Mostly, it will be me playing support using the MG15. This has been my favorite support LMG for the few times that I've actually played support on the vanilla servers. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed the video so far and that you will continue watching it till the end. My name is Matthias and I want to thank you all for watching. Nine. Oh, grenade got me. Hey, <laughs> get wrecked, horse. There's a guy on the flag. Oh. Kill him. We have taken objective butter. Well, AA works as normal, OP as fuck. Ho ho ho, get fucking wrecked. This weapon. It's insane. <laughs> <laughs>